Hi there, it's Andy from GM Car Sales here, just doing a short virtual test drive on the uh, Ford Fiesta 1 litre EcoBoost that we have in stock. Interior of the car is really nice and clean and in good condition, and the car has received a full valet. Uh, having a look around as well, there's wee bits of taking that in the car, so you've got your headlights and that that are operated from down here, uh, electric mirrors, electric front windows, um, having a look to your centre console. So you've got a nice radio, it's nice and clear there, uh, CD player, auxiliary port, and that's down here in front of the gear stick and a USB socket in there as well. You've got a uh, Bluetooth uh, that you can pair up through there and then it's controlled through your steering wheel down here. Air conditioning, uh, really nice and then obviously nice wee feature to have uh, in Ford's is the heated front windscreen. It's a really handy thing to have uh, winter time, especially up here in Scotland. So what I'm going to do is we're just going to go for a short drive. Uh, I'll describe how the car feels, how it drives, clutch, brakes, everything like that. Uh, and hopefully try and show you how, how good the car actually is. So pulling away there, the clutch feels really quite good. And uh, there's no juddering anything like that from there, so that's, that's good, to, good to know. car will receive a full RAC check from our trained technicians as well so it's always a good thing to have that uh, it's just to make sure the ha car's up to a really high standard uh, of prep uh, for you when you're collecting your car just pulling out here in second up into third Nice and smooth, it was nice and smooth there up through the gears. Uh, it was no clunks, no crunches coming from the gearbox, nothing like that. That's us up at 30 miles an hour in the fourth. So just going over the car, uh, it's in relatively good condition inside, like I said, uh, seats are nice and clean, and there's no, coming along here about 30 miles an hour, there's no knocks, nothing like that coming from the suspension, uh, nothing really untoward there, it's all seeming uh, pretty good actually to be fair, nice, nice wee car. What I'm going to do up here is I'm just going to go right round the roundabout, and that's trying to show how good the, the steering is on the car. The road conditions quite uh, greasy as it has been raining today, so it's really just going to go round the car, right round here. Sorry, very minimal body roll. Car's not sliding about, so tyres will be in good condition. Coming off the roundabout in second here, onto a forty zone, so we're at thirty. The third 35 into fourth 40. So it's nice and smooth there. Up into fifth. It's the top gear being a uh, five speed manual. Look around the car as well. Plenty of visibility. That's not an issue. Uh, no uh, big thick pillars obstructing your view, nothing like that. Again, the all overall condition is, is very good of this car. There's a, uh, it's uh, I really like the the gloss black and sort of matte grey black finish. Uh, it's on the dash, it's just really nice, it's, it's, it's a good quality car, uh, excellent wee city car as well. Like I said, being the EcoBoost, you're, you're pretty uh, economical there on that as well. Just 
a couple of little bits to mention about the car that is really really good as well. The heating, I've got the heating on just now because it's quite cold and it's on full black, it's on full heat and it is absolutely toasty in this car. I know you can't feel it, but the heating is working excellently. So we'll go down the slip road just to show Joe carriageway speeds. So we're in second, up to third at 30, down into fourth at 40, and up into fifth at 55. Just to pull out here. That's a sitting at 65 miles an hour. No excessive road noise, no other noises to hear there. Do here as well, coming down to the Inveramon roundabout. We take the first exit off the roundabout into uh, Inveramon Industrial Estate where we're based. Basically, what we're going to do there is just drive around a couple of the side roads and just try and simulate the best I can a bit of town driving. Uh, there's a few potholes uh, and rough sections of road. It's really just to let you know how the car. Uh, how the car's really handling day-to-day -day life uh, if you're going to be driving it every day. Also being a Ford as well, it just feels really nice quality. Everything's quite good quality. The seats, it's a nice foam that's in the seats, so the seats are really comfortable. Uh, nice leather steering wheel as well. There's a large pothole coming up here, so I'll just be quiet and let you hear how the car handles that. And you're not you're not really feeling anything there. Uh, yeah, it's quite a big divot there, but you're not feeling it at all. Like I was saying as well, the seats they are really comfortable. Um, you could be driving in it quite a good few hours and you wouldn't really get a sore back driving it. They are good quality seats. It's a nice, it's a nice uh, driving position as well. The pedals, everything's quite symmetrical. They're, you're not, nothing's too off centre. It's just a good driving position to have in the car. So what I'm going to do up here is I'm going to take the, the next uh, left. And that's just to try and simulate uh, a wee bit of town driving. A bit of stop start possibly. This section of road here is actually quite rough, not quite harsh, so it's really just to let you know uh, how, how the car sort of deadens the sound. Now you're saying there, you're, you're not hearing anything at all. If you had the radio on, you wouldn't even know. Like I was saying earlier as well, the car will have an RAC inspection on it, just to prove, uh, just to show, sorry, that the uh, car's prepped to quite a high standard uh, for safety, things like that. This wee section on the road as well, I'd just like to just talk about the steering. Steering, again, it's nice very very accurate it's not uh, too aggressive it's a uh, it's good nippy probably the best way to describe it nippy uh, being a sort of town car city car sized uh, size vehicle nice and accurate because as well think about the fiesta as well the bonnet does dip below the the bottom windscreen but you don't feel like it's a big car you really do have good uh, the spatial awareness in the car, you kind of know where the front of the car is. So again, for lots of town driving, parking, things like that, uh, it's, it's a great wee car. So what we're going to do here is we're going to take a right and just head back up towards the branch. We 
we have back at the branch. So hopefully you enjoyed that short virtual test drive. Uh, and if you did, please feel free to give us a call on 01738 248080. Or alternatively, you can go online and visit us at gmcarsales.co.uk. Thank you.